Hi, my name is Tom. I've been an antique dealer for almost six years now. Every day is different, and I'm always learning. And that's really what I truly love about this business. You never know what you will find. <laughs> then one day it dawned on me. I should document this. So I decided to make this YouTube channel called Discount to Dope. So come along with me as you go through every day in the life of an antique dealer. And join me through every day that I turn that open sign on. So enjoy Discount to Dope. Have you ever been to a jewelry store? Purchased the jewelry and actually wondered if it was fake or not? Have you ever been on a trail or a walkway or on a beach and find a piece of jewelry? Have you ever dug through your grandma's old jewelry and actually go through it? Well, let's find out if it's fake or not. How's it going? It's Tom from Discount the Dough, and this is my new series, How to Spot a Fake. Me being an antique dealer, I'm always faced with different challenges every day. And one of those challenges is how to spot the real stuff from the fake stuff. There's a lot of fake stuff out there. Uh, China has produced a lot of different jewelry and a lot of fake jewelry. Um, and there's, you know, in every country, there's another person that will try to sell the fake. Um, and uh, it's my job to figure that out. And in this video, I want to show the public and the people really how to spot a fake. So here's five ways to identify if your gold is real or fake. The first thing you need to do as soon as you pick up that item is look for marks. Now, each piece of jewelry will have a mark of whether where it's made or what it's made of. Um, gold has 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, 22 carat, or 24 carat. Now, those are just in Canada or in the States. When you go to other places around the world, they have different type of stamps, different kind of numbers. But we're going to talk about just uh, gold here in Canada and in, in, in the United States. Um, so yeah, the first thing you want to look for is marks. It would have a number and then a K beside it. What you don't want to see is a number, a K, and then have a GF beside it. That stands for gold filled. I will show you different uh, stamps along the way, but the first thing you got to look for as soon as you pick up that item is a carrot mark. Okay guys, here we got two gold rings one is gold plated one is pure gold now this one here is real gold you'll see the stamp on the inside there it is just focus. so as you can see in the inside of the gold ring you see the 10 the k and then a ze with the ze that is the maker's mark and the 10k is totally there you can see it All right, there you go, guys. I don't know if you can see this, but on the inside, it has a very faint 10K. It's got a maker's mark, and then it has a GF. That stands for gold filled. Let's see if I can get a better shot out of it. Well, my camera doesn't want to really get a good shot there. But the GF is right beside the carrot. Time for tip number two, the magnet test. Now, this doesn't 100% tell you that it's real gold, but it's pretty much tells you whether it's fake or not. Uh, basically what you want to do is find the strongest magnet you can find possible. Now for best results you want to get an industrial magnet. But go around the house and try to find you know maybe a big refrigerator magnet or a bunch of little magnets. What I did is I added a bunch of magnets together and try to form the best magnet I can possible at the time. What you want to do is run your magnet over top of your gold piece. If it sticks to your magnet it's automatically ruled as fake or gold plated. Um, real gold does not attract to a magnet but sometimes other base metals don't attract to a magnet like copper, stainless steel, brass, aluminum. Uh, jewelry makers usually when they're trying to pass on a fake what they'll do is use those base metals with gold plated over top. Um, so if it doesn't, it doesn't stick to a magnet it doesn't mean that it's real gold right away but it's a step in the right direction. Okay guys, we got our heavy duty magnet. It's time for the magnet test. We have two gold rings here, both stamped 10K on the inside. Both have a nice stone on them. They both have the right gold color and texture to them. I mean, inside of a, a display case, they look pretty damn real. But one of them is real and one of them is fake. Let's find out. So we're gonna start with the one on the right here. Now I'm touching it and it's, and I'm actually moving it and it's not sticking. So this gold passed the magnet test. 
Now, like I said before, that doesn't mean it's real gold, but it's a step in the right direction. It has two good tells on it. It's got 10K on the inside, it looks good, and it passes the magnet test. On the other side, we have the other ring, and it basically sticks right away. As soon as I put it close to it, I didn't even have to touch it, it came to me. Um, so that is fake. It's gold-plated. There is a metal base underneath that gold-plated um, material. So basically, this one is fake. It's stamped 10K on the inside. It looks pretty good, but guys, you got to watch what you buy. All right, so I got my file, and I got an actual, it says, gold-plated uh, nail clippers. And, um, you know, I, I want to just, you know, use it as an example of what you would do if you want to uh, test a file. So you want to go on the inside of a ring or on a class, somewhere where you can't see it on the on the on the piece of jewelry. Um, for me, I'm just going to tilt it to the side and I'm going to file the inside. All right. Okay, so we got our gold-plated uh, nail clipper here. And I did file it right there, as you can see, and it is silver underneath, so there's a base metal underneath the gold plate. Um, so what you want to look for is that right there, so that's indicating that it is gold plated, it is not real gold. Um, also, uh, if you find a pink underneath, that would be indicated that there's copper underneath and it's not fully gold. Uh, if you find like a yellow brassy type color, uh, brownish, that means there's brass underneath. So yeah, what you want to do is file just a little bit and uh, see what's underneath that gold plated and if it comes up the same color that's the that the gold plate is then it's a good shot that it is real gold it's time for tip number four and that is eyeballing look use your eyes if you have a piece of gold take a look at it look to see if it's oxidizing look to see if there's any green pieces if, if a gold piece is oxidizing meaning you see some green spots on it that means the copper is coming through and usually copper, if you've ever seen copper uh, outside, when moisture hits it, it turns green. So right there, that'll tell you the gold piece is not real if you see any pieces of green oxidization on your gold piece. Also, you want to look at the stones that are on your gold piece. You want to see if they're either glued in or if they're set. If they're placed in there, set perfectly like a gold piece should have, if, if any gold piece is out there and it's real they want a nice piece of stone in there and it is set in there it is not glued in there if you ever see a piece of uh, stone glued on another piece of jewelry the odds are that's not real gold also weight detection if you put a gold piece in your hand and it just feels too heavy it's probably not real if you put it in your hand and it just feels too light then it's probably not real so you want to kind of like find a medium there also, you want to take a look to see if you see any of the base metal coming through the gold plate that can detect. So use your eyes when looking through gold pieces. You can tell if when you get real good at, at the beginning, you probably can't. But when you get used to seeing gold, you can tell right away just by using your eyes. So you, use your eyes well. So on to our fifth and final tip. If the other tips did not clearly tell you if your gold is real or fake or not, this is the ultimate way to find out. This is 100% accurate. You get yourself an acid tester. It comes with a scratching stone and six different types of acids to test your gold if it's real or fake. Basically what you do is you scratch your gold on this brick and then you put the acid over top of the scratch line. Now each bottle is a different carrot so this, what I'm going to use and show you is uh, the 10 carat. You're going to squirt the 10 carat on top of the scratch mark. If it dissolves, it is fake. If it stays there, it's real. So let's check it out. I got a piece here that I'm not quite sure if it's real or not. Um, it has a little bit of oxidization on it, a little bit of green. So I'm kind of scratching my head on it. It's marked 10 carat and it looks good. But, uh, you know, I just got to make sure. So let's find out. All right. So here we go. Here's our little acid test here. I got my stone and all my acids. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to scratch the gold on the stone. You want it nice and thick so you can see. All right. As you can see, there's a scratch mark. And then we got our 10. 
or 10 karat acid. Now, when you have these acid testers, you want to be careful not to get it on your skin or on your eyes because this is, you know, this will burn you. So uh, make sure you have a, a piece of uh, paper beside you or a piece of uh, toilet paper to wipe up the acid off the rock. Don't use your hands. So we're going to squirt this on top of the scratch mark of the gold. As you can see, it is staying there. So this piece here that I wanted to test is 10 karat gold at least all right so clearly it's real now we're gonna go to our next uh, acid and that's the 14 karat and as you can see it's starting to dissolve I'll put a little piece here And it is dissolving it. So it is definitely uh, 10 karat. Um, 14 karat is not working. Uh, so it definitely is ruled as 10 karat. Thank you for watching. That was five ways how to identify if your gold is real or not. Um, a new episode in my series, How to Spot a Fake. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. Any questions, please leave it in the comments. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, if you got any ideas for what other uh, episodes you want me to do, I'm going to leave a link in the description for my Facebook page and a link to all my other series I have on my channel. Um, thank you very much for watching again and have a great day, YouTube.